And this piece of shit stool. Okay, it's it's freaking cold outside again. Uh, I'm ready for springtime to kick in in full effect. Uh, I've got some stuff to clean. I think this is pretty much the last of it before the reassembly starts. Uh, I've got a few things to paint, like the horn and the center stand. Uh, I've got an upgrade. I've got a new speedometer. I'm going to put in this one only goes to 30, and this one. Uh, goes to 80, which is, which is, I know, a bit overkill, but uh, at least it'll get me up to the 45 or 50 that I think I'm going to do. This is pretty much the last of it, and then I can start reassembly. So, fast forward. You know, I've got these um, these extra stickers. I had bought these for the Maxi, um, and they came with clear and black stickers. Uh, some of these line up perfectly. See, the choke one, the choke, the, uh, the fuel oil gas mixture is the perfect replacement. Um, I don't have this attention keep away from, uh, from hot exhaust system. But I'll, I'll put something else there. But anyway, I'm going to peel these off now. I'm um, just taking a note of where they are. I'm kind of going to make a little scribe line so I know where to put them back. There we go. That looks pretty nice. That was a good score. I can't believe these things fit perfectly. I mean, I guess I can. They're both pooks, but still, that's a nice lucky. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is a little bit of black magic. Back to black. But you never seem different to me. Pretty good before and after, I don't know. Alright, just to finish these guys up, I went down to the store and got some uh, bulbs. Man, it's amazing what some ultra-fine steel wool does to chrome. It makes it look freaking perfect. There we go. This one's done. Yep, so only one bulb left, and that's the bulb in the new speedometer, um, which is a really weird little tiny guy. This is a 6 volt, um, but I need a 12 volt. I have that on order from Treats. 
Should be coming in mm, three days. Saturday today. I think it's coming in Tuesday. Along with a couple other things, which are the last little pieces of this build. So, uh, I'm excited. I think I'm going to be riding this bike next weekend. Not this weekend. <laughs> next weekend. I think I'll be riding this bike. I don't even need these lights because you're going to see my smile coming from a mile away. There's the center stand. Looking good. Uh, don't look now, but that was it. That was the last of it. Um, I've got everything clean because I'm starting the reassembly. Ho, ho, ho. I just remembered these guys. I gotta, I gotta clean them up and paint them. I'll come right back. I also took this opportunity to paint all the little chips and dings that I found on the underside of the frame. This is the little rubber padding that goes underneath the rear arm and allows it to pivot. And I, of course, like everything else, greased the hell out of it. Um, 29 foot-pounds on these guys. There it is, 29. Still runs pretty good, it goes up and down, but it's in there tight. Um, next thing I gotta do is put these forks in. But it's a little bit, and since these bearings are loose, we're gonna have to be smart about this. Okay, so there's 21 bearings in each chase. So I'm gonna put the 21 in here, slide the fork in, and then flip it over. That's my plan anyway. Damn, I just poured 21 exact into my hand. I lost my bearings. <laughs> I lost my bearings. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, no, down. This one's 30 foot-pounds. The steering nut is 30 foot-pounds. 
and these bridge nuts fork bridge bolts 11 pounds 11 and 30 there it is 30 11 all right That's all I'm going to do because that just needs to be on a little bit so I can use the kickstand. Uh, that's good for now. So, let's put that kickstand up or down. There we go. Okay, I think uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, throw the front fender and the front wheel on. Alright, are you good? Are you good? Hmm. Maybe I'll just, for safety's sake, just in case this thing wants to drop. These little rubber things for the gas tank. I'm not going to tighten that up yet. I'm just setting it in there so I can see what's happening. <laughs> um, you know what I'll put the horn on to? Since I can get to it right now, no problem. Some of these jobs would be infinitely easier with two people. <laughs> this is one of them. That's looking pretty damn good. Now that I got it on there pretty good, I'm gonna just rat-a-tat it a couple times. One. Two. The fender is held on by these screws. They're like flathead screws and they're old. And I want to, um, I want to replace them. So I'm actually not gonna tighten this fender on yet. I'm taking these screws with me to go uh, get new ones. All right, next I think is the back wheel. I'm leaving this sticker. It says, Performance Tuned by Pocono International Cycle Supply. I like it. I think that's pretty sweet. There's another one of those jobs. It would be super easy with two people. <laughs> I think this is the hardest bolt on the whole moped. This little spacer in between the frame and the fender is sucky. That actually went pretty damn easy. A lot easier putting it back on than it was taking it off, which is hardly ever the case. All I'm going to do is kind of put this thing in pretty much straight and so it won't fall off. <laughs> and then later I'll come back and really tweak it and get it perfect. I got some new hardware for this fender. Nice spanking brand new hardware. And I got the nylock nuts so that those ever, won't ever come off. Only thing better than clean hardware is brand spanking new hardware. Yeah, 
there's a bunch of just little nicks and chips on the frame, on the black frame, that I want to clean up. I'm just going to touch them up with a little bit of paint. You know, as I was doing this, I remembered uh, I forgot to do the put the VIN tag back on. It's all right. I'm a, I can still get at it. I just got to take this headlight off, and then I can get at it real easy. I'll do that now. I've been stamping my own personal mark in these VIN tags as I've been doing this restoration on YouTube stuff. This one, although you can't see it. Says DFHS5. I guess that means if you're watching this 30 years in the future and you're thinking, dang, that bike looks a lot like my bike, we'll check your VIN tag. It very well might be your bike. What next? Handlebars, I think. Yeah. Uh, I've got to clean up the hardware for these real fast, so let me do that. I can't tell you how satisfied these before and after shots make me feel. To the point where it's time for the wiring. Um, I'm kind of going to figure this out as I go. I think I'm going to have to replace at least some of this, although the loom looks in great shape. So I'm going to first run the loom, and then if I need to replace anything afterwards, I will. But first, I'll get this on and uh, and make it look pretty. That's pretty freaking sweet, man. I ain't going to lie. Holy crap, I love that moped. shock 17 foot pounds and there it is <laughs> rear shock bottoms nine foot pounds Ooh, it's not very much <laughs> is that really it nine foot pounds uh, it says nine foot pounds that's just not very much seems like they should be held on with a lot more what else? I ain't, I ain't gonna question. There it is. Nine foot pounds. Damn, that doesn't feel good. I feel like that should be so much more. I love this moped. I just love it. Every minute of working on it, I'm smiling and happy. Screw it. Probably like working on mopeds more than riding mopeds. 
Is that stupid? I don't know. It might be stupid. This one specifically though. Man, this is a good fun moped. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just, uh, just realized I didn't get it on camera. Oh, I got it on camera too. Camera two picked up the uh, seat uh, installation. <laughs>